Hello guys, you're welcome to Nigeria Mom's Diary. Come with me and let a chemistry teacher teach you how to make liquid detergent. I mean liquid soap as you normally call it. I will not only teach you, I will give you the correct measurements and I'm going to also tell you the functions of it. Let's dive in! Don't forget to like, subscribe and share for those that will be needing it. You can even save it in your archive for a day that you will need it. The first thing I did was to mix all the foaming agents in one bowl. This is sulfonic acid. It is a foaming agent, a surfactant. And the next one is the XLS rice, sodium lauryl sulfate. And the third one is the texapon. I mixed three of them in a container together because the three of them do the same thing. Feel free to increase it if you want a, a soap that foams more. And now this is soda ash and stpp both of them are water softeners and binder so i mix it in the same bowl too and added about three liters of water then the next container is for caustic soda caustic soda is a cleaning agent is the one that acts as a cleaner in liquid soap or any other soap so i had made everything now and now it is time for me to start preparation but the container i put the soda ash was too small so i decided to turn it into a container that can take three liters of water otherwise it will not dissolve properly or it will take time for it to dissolve now that i have done that properly i started by adding my natural soap natural soap is a thickening agent i added it to about 10 liters of water and I added it gradually ensure that you do this gradually so that it will not form lumps once it is fully dissolved then you can now start adding the solution the first solution to add is your caustic soda solution that you made and begin to add it gradually and begin to stay add it gradually and stay after adding everything you give it a good stay then the next mixture to be added to it is your mixture of foaming agent that's the sulfonic acid the sls and the texapon that you have already mixed together don't worry that the rice is still there everything will come together at the end of the day so so pour it also gradually gradually and begin to mix don't forget that i said that if you pour it gradually it will prevent the lumps from coming into the soup have you subscribed to this youtube channel please kindly do so this will help this to get a lot of people this is the soda ash solution you can see that at the end of the day once it was fully dissolved the solution has become cleared it has become clear like water so then but you begin to add it to the soap little by little the reason why you should not add this one so much or at the same time uh, at, at once is that if you add it at once it, it will foam up the foam will rise and it may it will pour away that's why you need to pour it gradually and as you are pouring it you would already be observing that the soap is thickening so it, the soap will be getting thick is thick at this point so now i'm adding my foam booster this foam booster is what allows the foam to also boost that's also part of the foaming agent you can use it if you like or otherwise if you want a soap that foams one you can also increase the other three foaming agent that we used earlier then now you can add color i decided to use orange color and not from not the regular green because that's what i want so feel free to use any color of your choice after putting color the last thing to put is your fragrance you don't want a soap that is not uh, scenting right so add little water to the fragrance and add it to your soap at this point the soap is ready but one way that will not en enable us to overshoot is that you should always get 25 liters of water by your side and it is from these 25 liters of water you begin to add water to mix whatever it is that you are mixing apart from that soda ash that needs about three liters of water and above you can use any quantity of water to mix any of the other solution like mean the caustic soda so once you have gotten your soap you can now add water to it if you want more lightness or if you don't want you can leave it thick in that way thank you very much 
and now you leave the soap for you for you leave it to settle so that all the bubbles we gather we go together then it will give you a smooth soap here is what we have thank you very much for watching at the description box i'm going to put the quantity there thank you please subscribe like and share god bless you